Ready? Found something outside for you. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I think I left twenty dollars in your bag. Oh my god. What? Turn around. Did you have fun at camp? <laughs> uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I missed you. Mm -hmm. It's nice that you've been such a good girl for us. Are you surprised? Yes. Did you think you were going to the airport to pick me up? Yes. Yeah. Is it okay that you didn't go to the airport? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Mmm. Oh, are you guys okay? Happy. It was hard. I know. That. I missed him. How is it now? The best day of my life. <laughs> I was there for four and a half months, and then uh, and then I was working in Bahrain for another four and a half months. I was doing uh, civil affairs uh, <laughs> over in uh, Helmand Province, Afghanistan, and then uh, I moved to uh, Bahrain to uh, be a civil affairs planner there as well. It's been tough. It's been a long year, but like he said, we've had a lot of support from family and friends, and they've kept Still us smiling what? and laughing, and Food? we just laughed the entire way through. My wife is more the hero than I am. I mean, she's she's done so much while I was away. I, I, I just left and did one job and left her with all the rest. So uh, she's the hero in my book. <laughs> and welcome back. A U.S. Marine from Arroyo Grande returned home this week after spending the last several months in Japan and Korea. Amanda Starantino was there for the homecoming and she joins us live from our newsroom with more on that. Amanda. Dan, this homecoming didn't happen at the airport like usual. This one was at an Arroyo Grande elementary school as the sergeant's next mission was to surprise his little sister. This is for Isaac. Hours away from putting fourth grade behind her and jumping right into summer vacation. It was just a normal day at school for Cheyenne Perlesnik. Little did the 10 year old know a dream of hers was about to step into her classroom. Cheyenne's big brother, Sergeant Brandon Perlesnik, reporting for duty. The assignment to see his sister for the first time in seven months. Hey, Shai. It was the reunion Cheyenne had been waiting for, but never expected. <laughs> this homecoming had been just wishful thinking by Cheyenne. 
I got all your letters. You did. Hoping her brother's next mission would be to see her. Good? Yeah. She wanted me to. She wrote a letter saying that she wanted me to surprise her um, at school. And she gave me her room number and everything, her teacher. So I didn't think that I would be home in time because her last day of school is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But it so happened to be that I could make it in time and surprise her. Mm -hmm. Made her dream come true. It did. <laughs> A wish granted, bringing this brother and sister back together. I'm just going to say that I'm so happy for my brother to be home. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it was amazing. I missed him. Yeah. And Sergeant Prelesnik joined the Marines four years ago, and he tells me the last time he really got to spend time with his little sister was when she was still in a car seat. Back mm -hmm. to you, Dan. Now she's grown quite a bit since then, no doubt. Thank you, Amanda. And we're told the family is looking forward to spending a little time together at uh, well, a traditional gathering for them, Farmer's Market in San Luis Obispo. As 12-year-old Ryan Kuhn played soccer, <laughs> coming from behind the trees, she had no idea who was making his way toward the field. Oh, there's no way she'll see me right now. Then, from the sideline, come on, Cooner, get that ball. A familiar voice caught her attention. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? Is this a good surprise? Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Good to see you Father and daughter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I put the fast one on you, didn't I? Yeah. Back together again. It freaked me out. Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect him to come here. Major Chad Kuhn is back home after a nearly year-long deployment in Kosovo. Yeah, she's squeezing kind of tight. They saw each other briefly during his leave last month, but this time Kuhn is home to stay. Um, I miss her going to school for the first day. This year, I missed her finishing school last, last year. I missed the whole summer. He's eager to catch up on lost time. They're like peas in a pod and... Good job, Ryan! Like he's been missing things like this. One, two, three. Liberty! Now, hey, ladies, give him a hand, all right? Coon says it's good to be home and have his daughter in his arms again. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome, actually, yeah. It's on and it's recording. Justin is in the car. Hey kids, can you do me a favor? Yeah. There's a guy. Hang on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. That's my car right there. Mm -hmm. There's a guy in there. He's dressed like a sailor. Would you mind bringing him here to mm. go trick-or-treating at this house? Is that okay? It's a guy? It's a guy. He's, he's an actual sailor. He's uh -huh. meeting his fiance for the first time. He's been gone for six months. Uh -huh. Okay, so he's going to surprise her. And he just wants to look like one of the tricks and treaters. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's right over she there. right here? Tell him. Yeah. So go over there. Just knock on the door and tell him his mom sent you and you're going to walk him up here. Okay, come, come, right. Okay. okay, sound good? All right. Sure. Meg, hi. Hi. Hey. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Hey, Doc. How you doing, Don? Hi. See the bling she's got on? Let me see the bling. Oh, it's just on my head. Oh, it's adorable. Okay, yeah. let me get a shot and here. Dog. That's adorable. Oh, 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 you look great. Except she's Paris Hilton. She's got her. <laughs> she's such a little butt her thing on. <laughs> she's been barking nonstop. The big one just whimpers pathetically. Well, it's because it's Halloween. Yeah. yeah. We did have to get the big dog out because there's a group of like drunk teenagers standing there. <laughs> So she just came out and barked. So and Dot was like, why don't you get Star? And Star was being too nice. <laughs> she was actually quiet. Aww. So we were trying to get her to bark. And she wouldn't. Because no, she, she has, did finally. Finally? Like, she has oh, such a okay. deep bark. Teddy's like that. She can be intimidating. But right. she's a big softie. Right. She's she about beautiful. as terrifying as a kitten. <laughs> yes. You've so not met she looks tough until she gets close enough. 
And yeah. then it's and then it's all la la. Yeah, I had a three-year-old pit bull in our drive-through. Oh, you got tricks and treaters coming. He was smothering me with kisses. Yeah, be nice. Trick or treat. Go ahead and take what you want, guys. Have I got a treat? Oh my God! Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Thank you. I remember you. Oh. I'm double dipping, huh? Oh, After Martin's turn, so be petty officer Taylor. Really? That's when the next test is. I'm gonna be married. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Michael, don't be a Sorry about that. <laughs> Obviously, haven't seen each other a little bit. <laughs> Round up six months. So you want me over for tonight? <laughs> you know, I recognized him before she did. <laughs> <laughs> well played. <laughs> he looks taller. What happened? Maybe <laughs> <The baby> happened. <laughs> Oh, guys, turn around. Pose for the camera. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, okay, I'm going to turn it off now, okay? Alrighty, you ready? I need to She liked to bolt it down the door. <laughs> Thank God we never did that. So we're here waiting for my boyfriend Judd, 11 months of deployment. Carlo's here, she's very excited to see him. Just kidding, she has no idea what's going on. But we're at the hangar just waiting for them to come and I'm so excited. So I have the walker because of cataplexy, which is a symptom of narcolepsy, where when my emotions get heightened, like excitement, my muscles give out and get weak and I get paralyzed. So this is helping me out because my legs are like jello right now. Just so you know.
Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh.